When it comes to electric water heaters, there's no shortage of options, and that can make choosing the right one a challenge. So let's simplify things. Today we're diving into the world of electric water heaters to compare the three main types, tankless, conventional, and heat pump. Whether you're a homeowner looking to save on energy bills or a technician helping homeowners make the best choice, we got you covered. We'll break down the pros, the cons, and the quirks of each type so that you can make a confident decision whether you're a homeowner or a technician. <laughs> Here at Monkey Ranch, we've installed and serviced every type of water heater imaginable, from the ultra-modern heat pumps to trusty tank models. Thanks to the training with the top brands, we've stayed ahead of the curve when it comes to water heating technology. Whether you're a tech looking to up your game or a homeowner trying to make sense of it all, we got you covered. In this video, we'll compare electric tankless water heaters, electric conventional water heaters, and heat pump water heaters based on the following criteria. Heating capability, installation and operating costs, energy efficiency, and maintenance requirements. By the end of it all, you should have a solid grasp of which type of electric water heater best fits a homeowner's needs. Hey, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as we're constantly putting out new videos every week for the trade. Now let's start with what are the differences and similarities between the electric water heaters? Before we start picking favorites, let's break down how these systems work. As a technician, I'm sure you know all of these rely on electricity, but are used in very different ways. Let's kick it off with electric tankless water heaters. These heat water on demand using metal coils. When a faucet is turned on, water flows through the unit, gets heated to the desired temperature, and there you have it, instant hot water. Once the faucet is off, the unit stops heating. Think of it as a flash fryer of water heaters. Electric conventional water heaters. These store hot water in a tank. Inside, two heating rods keep the water nice and toasty until you need it. When hot water is used, the tank refills and the process starts all over. It's like keeping a pot of water simmering all day, convenient, but not always efficient. Heat pump water heaters. These don't generate heat directly. Instead, heat pump water heaters capture the heat from the surrounding hot air and transfer it to coils and use it to warm the water. They're a little like a reverse refrigerator. And yes, they're as cool or hot as they sound. So that's a quick refresher on some of the more apparent differences between these three water heaters. Now let's talk about how they compare. As a technician, it can be a little tricky explaining the differences between these three electric water heaters without getting carried away with technical terminology. Here's how to keep things fairly simple when explaining the differences to a homeowner starting with electric tankless water heaters. Electric tankless water heaters are great for endless hot water, but be sure that the unit's flow rate can meet the household's demands. Some homes have higher hot water usage than others. It's a good idea to ask a homeowner about how many multiple fixtures they run at once. In some cases, you may need two electric tankless units to meet a large home's hot water demands. Now let's move to electric conventional water heaters. These units are reliable and straightforward, but if the tank runs out, it's a waiting game while it reheats. Inform the homeowner that a tank style water heater can run out of hot water during really high hot water usage and that the wait time for the tank to refill completely is anywhere from 30 to over 90 minutes. And finally, we got the heat pump water heater, which are more energy efficient because they gather heat from the surrounding ambient temperature to provide hot water instead of relying completely on electricity. They're also bulky like conventional water heaters since they both hold water in tanks. For all of our homeowners watching this video, if you've ever cursed the shower gods for running out of hot water mid-rinse, an electric tankless water heater might be your new best friend. Let's talk about the cost differences between these electric water heaters. As technicians, it helps to get an understanding of what other companies are charging. This information can help you identify what fair pricing can look like for homeowners. Price tags vary, and there's more to consider than just the unit's sticker price. Here's the breakdown. Electric tankless water heaters cost between $400 and $2,500. Add installation, and you're looking at $1,800 to $7,200. Why the range? Well, things like amperage requirements, plumbing adjustments, and the unit size can all affect the cost. Electric conventional water heaters. Tank style water heaters cost about $600 to $4,500 with installed prices ranging from $2,500 to $7,200. They're usually cheaper up front but can rack up higher energy costs over time since they're constantly using power to keep water in the tank heated and ready for use. Moving on to heat pump water heaters. These are the priciest option costing around $9,000 to $13,000 with installation. That said, there are often rebates and incentives available at the federal and local level, especially since these are the most eco-friendly option. People are always looking for a way to save money, and as technicians, mentioning rebates and incentives are one way to encourage homeowners to weigh out their possible investments. 
If you're a homeowner, heat pumps can sound expensive up front, but between energy savings and incentives, you might actually save money in the long run. It's like splurging on a fancy coffee machine. You feel it at first, but those savings on coffee lattes add up. Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. We crank out these videos every week. And remember, a lot of this info in our video can also be found on our website's learning center. So make sure to check that out, link below. Next up, let's cover which type of electric water heater is the most energy efficient. Efficiency is where things really start to heat up. If you're unfamiliar or need a little refresher, water heater efficiency is measured using uniform energy factor ratings, also known as UEF ratings. The higher the UEF, the more efficient the unit. Mentioning UEF ratings is one of the best ways to educate homeowners on the energy saving differences between water heaters. Heat pump water heaters UEF ratings range from 3.30 to 4.10. Translation, they're up to 410% efficient. By using ambient air to heat water, they consume far less electricity. Electric tankless water heaters, UEF ratings, hover around 0.96. Not as impressive as heat pumps, but they're still very efficient compared to older technologies. Electric conventional water heaters, UEF ratings typically fall between 0.90 and 0.95. They get the job done, but can't compete with the newer systems. Regardless of which one you decide to install, it's important to note that all three of these options are just as if not far more energy efficient than gas powered water heaters. As technicians, you can use efficiency to guide eco-conscious homeowners towards heat pumps or tankless models, depending on their needs. If you're a homeowner thinking, what do all these numbers mean for my wallet? Well, heat pump systems offer the best long-term savings followed by tankless, conventional water heaters, they're reliable, but not the MVP of efficiency. So what about maintenance? As technicians, you're well aware that no water heater is truly set it and forget it. Regular maintenance keeps things running smoothly and extends the life of the system. After installing or servicing one of these water heaters, it's important to remind homeowners that they should schedule maintenance once a year for electric units. Here's a checklist of what maintenance you'll need for each electric water heater. For electric tankless water heaters, annual flushing is a must to remove mineral buildup. You'll also need to clean or replace the inlet water filter to maintain optimal flow. Electric conventional water heaters also require annual flushing, which is just as essential to prevent sediment buildup. Inspect and replace the anode rod as needed. It protects the tank from corrosion. And lastly, heat pump water heaters, in addition to flushing, clean the air filter regularly. Dust and debris can also clog the system, reducing efficiency. With top-notch maintenance, you can remind homeowners about the lifespan of these units. Electric tankless water heaters last 15 to 20 years on average. Electric conventional and heat pump water heaters can last 10 to 15 years. For homeowners, if maintenance sounds like a chore, remember, a little effort now saves you from a big headache and expense later. Plus, it's not something you'll need to deal with since you can schedule a technician to perform these services for you. Which type of electric water heater is best for a homeowner? There's truly no one size fits all answer. The best water heater depends on the homeowner's specific needs and priorities. Heat pump water heaters are the best for eco-conscious homeowners and anyone looking to maximize energy savings. Ideal for warmer climates like Los Angeles where ambient air can be easily utilized. Electric tankless water heaters are great for homeowners with limited space or those needing endless hot water. Just be sure the unit can handle the household's peak demand. Electric conventional water heaters are a solid choice for smaller homes, tighter budgets, or those who prefer the simplicity of tank style systems. Choosing the right electric water heater doesn't have to be a difficult task, whether you're prioritizing energy efficiency, upfront cost, or ease of insulation. There's an option out there for everyone. If you're still unsure, reach out to a professional and they'll help you find the perfect fit. And if you're in Los Angeles and ready to upgrade your water heater, click the link below to schedule an appointment with our expert technicians. If you found this helpful, give us a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date as we're constantly adding new videos every week for the trade.